if I, if, if I wasn't boxing, if I didn't box every day, I would be in jail or dead. Probably dead. I'd probably be dead. I, I need to hit things, I need to be hit. That's, that's as simple as I can put it. I'm a little rough around the edges. And, and, and from being raised in, in the Bronx, in New York, immigrant family, I have that New York sensibility. And it is a very specific thing. And I wear it as a badge. But I'm not a tough guy. I am a, I am a, I'm a lollipop. I'm a softy. I like poetry. I'm not a, t I, I can fight. That doesn't mean I'm a tough guy. I, I, I don't know where that comes from. I think it's the roles, maybe the roles that I've been recognized for lately is this tough guy thing. But I identify way more with fighters than I do actors. And it's a, it's a community. The, the guys that you see when I walk in the gym that hug me and give me a kiss on the face and I kiss them back, I love them. You know what I think it is? There's, in, in, boxing is about truth. That's it. When you get in the ring, there's no hiding. Actors can hide, you know, behind personas, behind publicity, behind movies, they can hide. If you want to be a real actor, if you want to be an actor that affects people, you've got to, it's a craft, you've got to learn it. It's like boxing. You just don't become a fighter. You got to spar, you got to train over and over and over to be a fighter. I'm a better actor because I box. No doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Warrior is when, for me, I changed my life in the business because people in the business was the first time anybody saw what I did, which was a secondary character, and it, and it got me in front of people that I've never been in front of. Scorsese, people like that. All of a sudden, you're, you're at my age, I was in my 40s then, like they're discovering you. Think about who came out of that movie. I mean, who was Tom Hardy, Joel Edgerton? And for me, my career totally did a 180. An entire 180. Like getting film offers, you know, was to the point where instead of always having to say yes, now I was having to decide what to do. 20 years of kind of doing a pilot and getting it picked up and it going seven episodes and doing a little movie here or there. You kind of put, you string together a career. Like you make a living, but it's not, you're not really in the game. I mean, there are so many things I've done because I needed the money. This is, that's, that's the real, that's straight and forward. Like, it's so many things because I had a family at a young age. I needed money. And, and I've had to make choices that I normally would not have made, but I had to do them. Do I regret it? No, I took care of it. I took care of business. What draws me to a role now is great writing. Uh, you know, you take Kingdom, for example. You know, this, this character, Alvy Kalina, I mean, if I was gonna write a role for myself on TV, this guy's a next fighter, and he's got these demons, and he's very dark, and there's a freedom. There's an emotional freedom, there's a physical freedom. It's a guy who exists on the fringes of conventional wisdom. And so there's something sexy about that. The movies that are, have made a difference, the gray, and, and Warrior, and Disconnect, and Captain America, End of Watch, Alvy Kalina, and Kingdom. It's all me. It's all a part of me. It's all who I am. It is kind of method. Yeah. I mean, I kind of exist in that, in that, in that thing. I don't come out of it. I don't walk around the set after. It's like being Frank Grillo. It's like I, you got to stay in that weird, kind of screwed up place to be weird and screwed up. There's an authenticity that I want to have. So that requires a lot of work, which is why people in the business, some people think I'm a pain in the ass, you know, because I, I see the bullshit, I see the nonsense, and I don't like it. You know, mediocrity is not, is not something to achieve. And, and so that's why I think I do every one of my own, I do all my own fights. I choreograph most of my own fights. I'm doing the Purge 3, and there's, it's very stunt oriented. So even with the stuntman, I will be equally involved in the choreography. Physically, I love the challenge. And artistically, I think, if I can do it, and they can see my face, and see it's me, the impact on the film will be far greater. And I love it. I mean, it's, to me, it's, it's, it's like, really, you're gonna pay me to do this? I'll do it.
There's no rules for success. You can be 22, you can be 52. It doesn't matter. There are no rules. You know, but you have to be ready when they when you come off the bench and someone gives you the ball, you have to be ready to run. My mother and father used to say to me all the time, what do you do this fighting? Why do you do this working out? You're so crazy about working out. I'm like, I don't know, someday it's gonna come in handy. Now, I get offered all kinds of action movies. Yeah, I'm 192. Ha, ha, ha.